area tonight, and uh, it was it, <laughs> we were sort of doomed Sorry. to get a race running today. Oh, we were, and we even had severe weather down yeah. towards Dothan, Mobile, Dale County. I just saw a picture of what looks like a tornado down there. So thankfully, we're not seeing that here right now. But I am tracking very closely this line that's moving in from Mississippi because that's entering some unstable air towards Tuscaloosa. So our severe weather threat it is definitely not done for the evening. You can see the lightning in this line here in Walker County as well as down through Samantha and Tuscaloosa likely seeing very gusty winds as well as heavy downpours tracking into West Alabama right now. This is all pushing up to the north northeast and pretty slow moving as well. That's why it's been so soggy this whole afternoon because this rain just will not let up. We also have a wind advisory in effect. You can see the camera shaking up and down here. This is our live look right now in Homewood where it is just a dreary evening. 63 right now and just windy winds out of the east southeast at 10 miles per hour right now. So it's going to be very brisk overnight tonight as the system continues to track through our area. Temperatures are mild. We're in the 60s, so not bad temperature wise, just very gloomy out there and very breezy as well. 15 mile per hour wind speeds sustained in Tuscaloosa, but with that leading edge there, that is where we are seeing those gusty winds that are going to continue through the night tonight. But after midnight, you can see the heaviest rain is pushing off into Georgia. So folks in Aniston, Gadsden, you'll be getting a break after midnight tonight. And then we're going to see a few scattered showers for your Monday as well as your Tuesday. So it's going to be pretty cloudy and gloomy the next several days. But we will get a break on Wednesday. More rain for Thursday. So we're in a very active weather pattern. Severe weather threat will continue for the next several hours, but we'll be tracking that for you. And we are going to see very heavy rainfall totals, two to three inches for that forecast. So for tomorrow, forecast is going to be improving through the day. We're in the low 70s and rain will be tapering off through the day. Storm Team 7 day for you. It's a pretty soggy one, just light rain chances Tuesday and Wednesday. The most rain was definitely today. Soggy day today, no way around that. But for tomorrow, scattered showers will continue. Just about a 50% coverage for that because we'll gradually see the rain start to taper off. Off. Few scattered showers, showers Tuesday and Wednesday. Our temperatures stay very mild and seasonal, though, not seeing any 30 degrees in that storm team seven day.